Welcome to Rebel Vision, the video channel of Railway Vehicle Engineering Limited in Derby. This morning I'm here with Andy Lynch, who's the Managing Director. So Andy, 2012, tell me how it's gone so far. It's been a good year so far. We've got more staff, we've taken on additional workshop space. Our main job is still delivery of maintenance on Network Rail's infrastructure monitoring fleet, which we have a challenge of maintaining the reliability of that fleet at the levels we've achieved. But we've got a lot of project work that we've just completed and we've got more coming through. Key ones with that are the Class 73 re-engineering, which is an innovative project to uh, rebuild Class 73 locos. And also we've got another ultrasonic test vehicle rebuild that's just starting. I'm now in the vehicles workshop with production director Andy Horton. Andy, tell me what's going on here today. We've currently got two uh, major projects in the vehicles workshop, uh, one for direct rail services and one for network rail. Uh, we're in the middle of a programme of work for DRS, uh, upgrading their locomotives, Class 37s and 57s, and also the ultrasonic test vehicles for Network Rail, we're upgrading those. So what is the primary benefit that the customer will, will, will achieve from this upgrade work? Um, increased life extension, um, lower maintenance costs, uh, increased reliability. So this workshop's uh, particularly suitable for this type of work, is that right? It is, yeah. It's a great level 5 depot rail uh, connected with overhead craneage. Fantastic. Andy, thanks very much. Thank you. So this is the engineering delivery unit. It's quite noisy in here. But I'm in here with uh, Andy Cooper, who's a team leader. So Andy, just tell me what goes on in here. We maintain all the uh, infrastructure monitoring trains. Uh, they come in for their exams. Once the vehicles come in, the lads will yeah, examine them and then we'll find the parts for them, make sure everything's safe and if we do have contractors, make sure that they uh, work safely in, you know, to their high standards. Well, I've moved indoors now into the visual management suite and I'm with Mal Mattox who's the engineering manager. So Mal, tell me about this room. This is the visual management suite where uh, senior management meets once a week for about 30 minutes. We review our health and safety and quality performance we also review material shortfalls and any back orders required to fulfil our orders. On this board, we're reviewing people, production. We also review the projects, financial and commercial risks, and a trend analysis. Here we can see uh, Networks Rail fleet monitoring progress with all our performance metrics and our back orders as well. On here we have specific projects concerns and our escalation process so each one is planned via a project plan. The key component of this is the visual element. It's the visual ele element and seeing improvement in our performance right. and agreeing actions that will make it improve even further. And I guess with that decision making is faster? Very, very quick now, very quick. Uh, this is Russell Mosley, Health and Safety Advisor. Now, Russell, tell me, uh, you're just about to introduce a, a new scheme in health and safety, aren't you? Yes, it's called Home Safe. Um, what we want to do is make sure every individual gets home in exactly the same condition as they arrived to us in the first place. We want them to think safe, work safe and get home safe. One of the key items, of course, is behaviour and behavioural policy. Uh, it is very important that uh, people don't walk past things, they, they pick things up, they put things back. Everything has a place and a place for everything. I guess you're talking about housekeeping primarily. Housekeeping is one thing. Also putting their tools back into the right place. You know, people look at housekeeping and they think, oh, it's cleaning up spills and things like this. And actually it's also putting the equipment back in the right place. So it's there for the next person to find. Okay, so safe behaviour is key to it all. Safe behaviour is very key to everything we do. Well, I'm now in the Kelvin workshop, which is where Revel conducts its major engineering projects. And I'm here with Richard Morris, who's the technical director. So Richard, tell me what's going on in here? Well, this is where we do our heavier projects. So we've done snow and ice treatment train for Network Rail, and we're doing overhauls for Network Rail. But the biggest project here at the moment is the Class 73 project. Okay, so Class 73, just tell me a little bit more about that. Well, it's a locomotive that's 50 years old, but we're re-engineering it. It's a bi-mode locomotive, so it's very green in the first place. So it's a matter of putting new equipment in. Right, so what, explain to me, why would you want to take a 50-year-old locomotive and 
and, and strip it out and re-engineer it? It's, it's a much more cost-effective answer than going for new traction. Um, it gives you something that works straight out the box and is reliable because it's been around for a few years already. I, and I understand you work with uh, some American partners on this particular project. Yes, that's National Railway Equipment. Um, they, they're supplying some of the technology where we're actually re-engineering the loco around that and supplying some of the other equipment from Europe. I'm here at Multimodal with uh, Kirby Rosevale from the States. Now, Kirby, tell me what you've been doing here this morning. I'm here with our UK partner, RVEL of Darby, and we just finished our presentation for the Rail Freight Group. Mm -hmm. And the products that we're offering in the UK is EMD uh, replacement parts and our Enviromotive package. It's a multi-gen set con concept, a power on demand. And uh, it's been in, we put it in service in over 300 locomotives. And it's, a, it's an all-inclusive uh, control system, power package, and it's a, basically a modernization tool. It basically gives you the performance of a new vehicle, the fuel savings, the emissions compliance, but allows you to, to utilize the uh, existing car body and, and trucks. 